With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this given complex, we need to find the number of unpaired electrons in the given complex entity. So NiH2 whole 6 plus 3 is the given entity. Now let's work upon the following. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to calculate the oxidation state of this given complex entity. So for that, I assume initial oxidation state of nickel is X. This echo is neutral again, so 0 multiplied will be 6. And overall charge given is positive of 3. So what the value comes out? It's only plus 3. So can I represent nickel plus 3 configuration? Yeah, that's going to be very simple. Argon, ground state configuration is 4s to 3d8. But after ionization, it's going to be 4s will be 0 and we are left with 3d7 only. So if I represent 3d7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is the 7. Here 4s is already vacant, 4p is already vacant, which are represented over here. This is the 3d only. So what do I observe? I observe that here it's going to be weak field again so no pairing will take place and it's going to adjust 6 set of vacant orbital so that will be done by outer set of orbitals which are 4s, 4p and 4d respectively so what is the type of hybridization it's going to be sp3 d2 type which is an octahedral geometry and of outer orbital type outer orbital complex but we are interested in number of unpaired electron. So it's going to be what? 1, 2, 3. So the, this will be of paramagnetic nature and number of unpaired electron are represented by mu which is going to be 3. So option D is going to be the correct choice for the given question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.